Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Equal. Today we will be talking about prefabs. Even though we already covered that in a viewer request video, I said there that I wanted to make a separate video about prefabs and here we are. So let's start. This is really an easy concept for you to understand. I like to think on prefabs like templates, like a, an object that you can reuse. So let's begin here. I, I will pick my share. I don't know if you have been following the videos. We have the share here for a long time. And I will create a folder here for prefabs. And now the only thing that you need to do is pick the, the object that you want to transform into a prefab and grab it down here into the folder. If you notice, you have the, your object here and this its name here in the hierarchy will be blue. And this is good, it means that it's a prefab. So if I open up the arrow here, everything is blue and this is a good sign. Now, what did I tell you about the prefabs is that we can spawn them as we wish. So imagine that I want another share. I don't need to duplicate this here, like Control D and then move it around. No, you don't need this. You can you can do it, yeah. But you can also grab this prefab here and put it in the scene, just like that, and that's a prefab. I can spawn here a lot of shares. If I want to, they are updating here, share one, two, three, four. Actually, this is share zero, that is the main one. <laughs> we may talk about that later. And here we go. We have six, seven shares, and it was this easy, just drag and drop. But now imagine that I want uh, the base here to be another color. I will create a folder here for the materials, because here inside this stuff should leave this to materials. Oh, and there's a share here. Damn. Delete this. Yeah, just like that. Organize. So let me open my prefab here from the share. If you double click here, you open the prefab in a, a kind of new scene here. You can uh, check your prefab. Uh, if you press this arrow here, you'll go back to the main scene. If you double click, you get in the kind of uh, <laughs> prefab inspector, if you want to say so. And now I'll go to materials. And imagine that I want this part of the share to be blue. So I need to pick this part here. And I can either drop this material here, or I can put it here as well. For example, like this. And now the base of the share is blue, ignore this flickering. Now you must, don't forget to save. Like the scenes you have here, this asterisk, so you need to save. You can enable auto save or you can save manually. You hit uh, save, uh, go back. And instantly you see that our shares now have a blue base. You can still edit. Uh, one by one, the shares if you want. For example, imagine that I want this base to be bigger. <laughs> like this weird base here, I can do it. But it will remain like the only share with this property. It will not go to the others. You can also do something very useful. Like if I want to pick this share here, share 3, okay. I will open up. I will apply material, for example, to the top will be this material. And now I say, mm, this looks good actually. I want this and all the other shares. Well, it's quite simple. You just need to come here in overrides. And if you read the information here, it says overrides to share. This is the symbol of prefab in the scene. Share tree, arm base, mesh render because I have another color. And I can revert or I can apply. And if I apply, it says apply all overrides to prefab source share. So that's basically overriding the prefab. So the main one will have the that color on the top as well. 
So let me apply and now all the shares also share the same property of having the top with its yellow color. So I think that's it for this tutorial guys. I think we talked about the most important topics uh, about the prefabs. Of course that we still have uh, stuff to talk about but we will get it uh, while, while we move on in the tutorial series. We also will get prototypes of some games so just make sure that you stay tuned, leave a like and subscribe to show your support and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you a lot for watching. See you there.